Hey guys, how are you today? I have a really collective haul for you guys today, so I'm just going to get started because I don't want this to be like a million years long. So, first off, from Sephora, I got the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is in the color 125. Go check it out your Sephora. This is a great foundation. I love it so much. I also have the Makeup Forever HD Kabuki. Not HD. Makeup Forever Kabuki. It's really, really soft. I like it so much. It's really, really soft. Perfect for a setting powder. I also got Benefit Boink Concealer. This is in shade number 2. It's really heavy duty. Perfect for under eyes. That's what I use it for. Great concealer. I love it so much. I also got Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Primer. This is a really great primer for all skin types. Well, not all skin types, but I also like the hydrating one, which I'm going to buy sooner or later. This is just a great primer. Go check it out. I also got the Lorac Visual Effects Curling Separating and Lengthening Mascara. This mascara, I hate it so much. This is a wand. So much product goes on there. The wand is ridiculously ugly. It reminds me of a seahorse. Look at that. It's just really wet and doesn't hold a curl at all. I hate it so much. Do not waste your money on this mascara. Please do not. I'm sorry if you use any like it. <laughs> I also got the Bare Essentials or Buxom Amplified Lash Mascara. Looks like that. The shorter... The shorter um, wand gives you uh, length, volume, it gives you volume, length, it gives you length, and the longer one gives you volume, it's opposite, I always forget. This is an okay mascara, it's not that great, um, to be honest, but it's an okay mascara. I also got the Lorac Tantalizer, which is a baked bronzer by Lorac. This color looks perfect on top of any blush color. Perfect, perfect, perfect for everyday wear. Perfect for the summer. I really, really like it. And it just looks like that. I'm making a mess on my bed. I also got the NARS blush in Madly. I discovered this at Sephora. I started working there a couple months ago, like you guys know. This is just a medium tone bronzy pinky corally color it looks really boring in the pan but go check it out try it out at sephora it's really pretty really really pretty i love it for everyday wear i also got a lipstick set that kat von d came out for the holiday season came with six lipsticks the first color is halibut which is a dark red color it came with Adora, which is a metallic red, perfect for the holiday season or any type of red lip. This is my favorite red lip color. Love it so much. I love it, love it, love it. It came with Whiskey Woman, which is a raspberry color. It came with Celebutard, which is a nude. Really, really pretty. It came with... Vestayula, 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 which is a mauvier pink color, medium tone pink. And it came with Backstage Bambi, which is a Nicki Minaj Barbie pink. And then from UrbanDecay.com, I ordered the Naked 2 palette. Looks like that. Really pretty. My favorite color is YDK, Burb, and Blackout. Came with a lip gloss, as you guys know, and naked. And the little extra bonus was an Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in El Dorado, which is a gold. From MAC, I got the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Plus. Perfect setting powder. I love it. I also got the MAC Lipstick, which is a luster in Hug Me which is a mauve my lips but better color Kara Amelie 03 here on YouTube raves about it so I had to get it and I love it so much 
I got the eyeshadow in Sumptuous Olive, which is an olivey, shimmery color. Um, this is a Velux Pearl. I also got Plumage, which is a matte teal. So pretty. It looks blue, but it's a teal color. Perfect for the crease. I love it so much. I got their Snow Globe Lip Gloss Set. Comes with four colors. Um, the first one, which is Cream Sheen. This is Overindulgence, which is a orangey color. The other Cream Sheen it came with is Boy Bay. I love this color so much. I've used it a lot. I love it so much. Two Dazzle Glasses. Bare Necessity, which is a golden pink lip gloss this is really pretty as well and a darker version of that one with more orange and brown tones which is get rich quick and onto the drugstore i got this is actually from sally's the ardell demi wispies bianca b loves you here on youtube uses these lashes in all of her tutorials mostly and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need those lashes. So I bought them, and they're really, really pretty. Really pretty. I got the L'Oreal Linear Intense Liquid Liner, Felt Tip Liner. This is comparable to the Lancome Art Liner. Although this is $20 cheaper, so definitely check this out. You just twist it. It's really pigmented, really black. I love the felt tip. It's really nice. I also got two Maybelline. I mean, three Maybelline Color Tattoo Shadows, which were raved about here on YouTube. They're really comparable to the MAC Paint Pots, Aqua Creams, and Creaseless Cream Shadows by Benefit. The most popular color I have is Tough as Taupe, which everybody here loves. It's just a concrete matte taupey brown color. I use this as a base, and I use, um, what is that color called by MAC? Um, satin taupe. I put this, this and satin taupe are a match made in heaven. I love it so much. I also got pomegranate punk, which is a purple raspberry color, which I haven't used, but, but it's really pretty. And then I got bad to the bronze, which is a golden brownie gold color. And then the last thing I got was a Maybelline Dream Matte Pressed Powder in Medium Sand. Looks like that. I bought this thinking I wasn't going to get the Mineralize Skin Finish. But then I walked by the MAC counter in Macy's and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. So I just bought it and I was like, why not? Why not? It's just $30 more, right? <laughs> this is just a setting powder. Honestly, a setting powder is a setting powder no matter if you pay $30 or $4 for it. It's going to take me years to get through these two, but whatever. Um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of products I should try out, please leave them down below. And if you want any review on any of these things or have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down below. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you guys pretty soon. Bye.